Hello, this is Harlan. Many people ask me about doctrines. And God wrote the foundation teachings in my heart back in the 60s. And if you know this, you'll pretty well know the operation of God as far as doctrines and teachings. So pay attention. I go over it every now and then for the Holy Ghost children that just come in so that they can understand it. You have, they used to build, if you've noticed the temple there in Jerusalem, they would build by big stones. And Jesus was called the chief cornerstone. That means all the other stones line up on that stone. He's the stone the builders rejected. So I want to teach you the foundation teaching. Pay close attention and you'll understand the gospel 100% better. Now Jesus is the Christ. That's what got him killed. They said, are you the Christ? He said, yes, you'll see me coming in clouds of glory. That's why they killed him. Because he was the one God sent to rule us. He will rule the new world. He will rule all people that has the Holy Ghost. He'll be the king of David and all the prophets and all the apostles and all of us Gentiles that come in by the Holy Ghost. Jesus is our king. He's our savior. He's our truth. He's our resurrection. He's the one the Holy Ghost came by. Now stone number two is very important. It's repent. Now this means you've changed from your ways to God's ways. That's all it means. It means you're giving up the life in the flesh. There's only two lives you can live, flesh or spirit. You're giving up the life in the uh, the, uh, giving up life in the flesh for the life in the spirit. And this is what it means to repent. You change to God's ways. You recognize your creator through Jesus Christ and then you repent. That's what, you know, you got to change. Now faith toward God, faith don't come by hearing and hearing the word of God. They refer to the Bible. That's a lie. Faith comes by hearing and hearing the voice of Jesus Christ. This is why he speaks to us today by his voice. Jesus' sheep knows his voice. He speaks to us by the Holy Spirit, or ever how he wants to, by his angels. But anyway, you got to hear the living God. You can't take a book and claim that. The devil can get saved like that. you got to have faith in the living, resurrected Jesus Christ. Now, baptism in water is real important because it saves you in a sense because what you're saying is, I'm going to be buried with Jesus. It's your funeral day. And you say, I'm burying my flesh. I'm not living after the flesh. I'm gonna, the same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead is going to quicken my mortal body. I'm raising out of this watery grave to walk in newness of life. I'm going to walk in the spirit. So this is a good conscience toward God. You're saying, God, I buried my flesh. Sin was condemned in the flesh. Now, stone number five is very important. This is baptism in the Holy Ghost. You know when he comes in you. It's like putting a warm blanket over you, as one person described. It's like electricity running over your body. And you can't do what you used to do because his seed remains in you and you sin not. This is the only way you can be a son or daughter of God is with the Holy Ghost. This is the gift and promise of God. If you don't have it, you don't belong to him. And Bible worshipers think that they have the Holy Ghost, but they don't. They just have words about people that had the Holy Ghost. Now, number six, that's an old saying. The hands ministers to the body. It's called the laying on of hands. What you do, you present your body a sacrifice to Jesus Christ. Like he's using my mouth right now when I say, the Bible's an idol. The Bible is the mark of the beast. He's using my mouth. Nobody else won't hardly say that. But I'm anointed to say it. He delivers me. And so I tell you the truth. So your body is the temple of God. Let God speak to you. Let God Don't lay hands on nobody but who God tells you to. Now the seventh stone is the resurrection. And like the apostle said it the best, he said, if there's no resurrection, I'm of all people most miserable because he suffered so much for Jesus Christ. And I'll tell you, there is a resurrection. I've seen over into heaven. I've seen Jesus. I've talked to Jesus. There is life after this life. There is a resurrection. And Jesus is there. And I can assure you of that. So the resurrection is true. Believe, that's what the first message was. Jesus was raised from the dead. People couldn't hardly believe that. Now this is eternal judgment. Very important to know this. While you're here in the flesh, you can make mistakes, sin, and you can get judged and you can straighten it all up. But now when you're in the spirit world, you're spiritual then. You can't change from the flesh. You'll go before the white throne judgment and you'll be what you are. And you'll be judged for eternity. You'll be either in the bottomless pit or you've taken to the new world where Jesus is the king forever. You'll be at the marriage suppers of the Lamb if you have the Holy Ghost. If you don't, you will not. Now, foundation is mentioned throughout the New Testament. They mentioned it in Hebrews 6 and 1. So, if you want to read about it.